At 5 o'clock, the Justice for Jesse rally kicked off at VISD headquarters. Justin Henton joins us live from the rally with an update. Justin? Yes, Sheldra, we are in the middle of the rally at this point in time right now. Right behind me is Pastor Lewis Vaughn that's speaking right now. And, and really their main message is about stopping abuse. So I'm going to let you listen in to what he's saying right now. More abundance. Yeah, all right. God does not bring you to anything that he will not bring you through. I believe that. Anybody here believe that? Yeah. And so that's pretty much been their message the, in, the entire 30 minutes that we've been out here is talking about the abuse that they feel that she suffered. Um, some of the, after the video made its way throughout the different communities and online, a lot of people on our Facebook page started to comment and saying that some of the abuse that they were seeing didn't necessarily match up with the suggestion and with what happened and what Ms. Haynes was saying. And so we talked to some people out here and they said that really what they see on the video is is, is truth enough and they can tell on that video that she was in fact abused and their main issue is the fact that she's the only one that they feel is being punished right now and we talked to, to one of those individuals earlier today Paul Jones and here's what he had to say And, and so one of the, and, and like I said, that's really been the message today is, is stopping some of that abuse that they feel has taken place now. Earlier in the week, um, Mike Neal's attorney, David Vandekova, um, sent out a message and, and talking about a response into what he'd seen in the video and, and some of Ms. Haynes' statements. And he says that it's a, um, he feels that her statement is a clearly calculated attempt to paint a grossly inaccurate, misleading, and biased record of what truly transpired at the meeting. So one of those things that they have been talking here is how they feel that um, that she was treated and that's one of the things that they do want to stop. I'm going to stay out here and, and continue to listen in to what's happening and what they'll be talking about and we'll make sure that we bring it to you as soon as we find out. Reporting live in Boma, Justin Hinton, Fox 4 News. All right, thanks Justin. Keep us updated. The BISD police chief tells us that following the incidents last Thursday, there have been, quote, two or three complaints filed with the BISD police department. The police chief says they are investigating the incident, gathering evidence and making a determination on how to proceed. The chief also told us that based on the initial complaints, if they are substantiated, they would be misdemeanor charges. Stay with Fox 4 and Fox4Beaumont.com as the story continues to develop.